Eric, I remember the last time you DH'd, uh, you said you got like a text at 9.30 uh, from BG. Did you get a little more advanced on this one? Uh, no, actually <laughs> not. I showed up to the field. I came in for a meeting, and uh, my boy really came up to me. He's like, so you're DHing today. I'm like, all right, got to go back out there. And I was pumped up. Do you have like a, like a, a normal hitter's routine you have throughout the season? To... Um, I mean... Like on my own or with like the whole team? Yeah, like with like, are you doing like some of the stuff the hitters are doing? Yeah, well? yeah. so I'll do probably ninety percent of the stuff they'll do. Okay. Uh, it matters if it is taking place. Like what it matters like if the pitchers are doing something, I'll go with them. Yeah. But if not, I'll go with the hitters. And then I also like will stay after practice uh, or come back later and hit in the cages for just like thirty minutes, something little. So I uh, don't fall behind and don't get rusty. So is, it, is that difficult to manage all that stuff or has it been? Um, it is, but I've been doing it for my whole life now and it's kind of just normal for me. Uh, just putting in the extra work just doesn't feel weird. Yeah. When you think back to that um, Saturday game against uh, Washington State, I know you said there were a bunch of nerves like running through your first game on TV. Like, how, do you, how much do you see that you progress till, to now? Uh, I mean, I think I progress dramatically. Um, now, before the Washington State game, I was thinking about it. I had, like my friends text me at home, be like, "Hey, I'll see you." So obviously, that's running through my mind. Uh, but now I'm just my whole idea is play where my feet are. Uh, if I'm on the field, I'm only thinking about the batter and the defense mm -hmm. and me on the mound. So I definitely have zoned out the televised uh, games and I do I'm, I've been doing a lot better can you take us through those two home runs uh, so first at bat um, I was just in fastball and he gave me a fastball after I think it was a 0-1 count mm -hmm. and I just sat it and I got a good piece of it I hit that one harder than my second one and on the second at home run I again I was sitting in fastball and threw me a changeup that was elevated a little bit and I just turned on it and hit it well. Alika, this was the time last year you guys kind of hit a little bit of a lull. Um, how do you how do you keep that from happening again, especially after the last couple weeks and going through your first kind of struggle portion of the season? Yeah, um, this is, uh, there's a lot of new faces here and I feel like this is a, new, a different vibe from last year and uh, obviously we had a great first part of the season and we know how to win and I feel like we're just gonna keep running with that feeling. Just we, we know how to do it. It's just a matter of executing it in timely situa situations, I guess. Mark, before the season started, were you expecting to pitch this much? Definitely not this much, <laughs> but uh, I knew I had it in me and when Kat said, Hey, can you pitch? And I did well my first couple of times, I knew that I was gonna be able to pitch and help the team. Have they told you that you're gonna kinda of have more of an elevated pitching role rather than the infield now? Uh, they haven't really told me. Okay. I can feel it, <laughs> but whatever. Just I just want to help the team. Whatever works. So do you like anticipate that being like a full time change by next season or not? We'll see what happens. <laughs> Honestly, it just depends what they see in me and what I can give them. Eric, do you prefer these slow throwing pitchers a little bit? Because that guy wasn't exactly throwing like ninety five out there tonight. Um, I mean, today at the plate, I know pitchers you throw slower. Uh, some hitters get themselves out because they take bigger swings. And my whole idea at the play was just have a good swing, don't swing too hard, and try to barrel it up. And honestly, I would prefer a guy throwing 92, 93, because for the reason what I just said, I don't want to have my mind get ahead of myself and take big hacks and roll over or pop up. So, uh, I mean, when I played Xavier, I the guy was like 96, 97, but I felt comfortable at the plate because I knew he was a fastball guy, so I can sit fastballs and I know I can hit fastballs. So. Yeah, he's a gamer. He just does it. <laughs> totally the gamer. That's, that's how we describe him. He's just a gamer. He does it in the game really well. Did you have that kind of power in high school? Did you hit home runs in high school? Uh, I did, actually. Um, junior year, I hit four, and senior hit six. And it's not a lot, but I mean, I, in high school, it was definitely considered a power hitter. Malika, with the, the way the infield was playing right now, you guys just have a lot of confidence when you go out there and be able to turn double plays and, and some of these things. Yeah, me and Swifty, I mean, we've been together for a year and a half now, and we're just really comfortable with each other, just where the feeds are going to be, the timing of everything. It's, it's 
It's a lot of fun out there right now. You guys just got through a tough stretch of conference games and a couple of tough midweek games. Does it help to maybe get the, the vibe back of the, with a team a little bit less caliber of an opponent coming in to try and get some of the mojo back that you guys had? Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to play a team, maybe not the same talent as Oregon State, but once we get that win, uh, who knows, it might spark something and we might get a 25 game winning streak again, hopefully. Yeah. A win's a win. Thank you, State. <laughs> Can you guys uh, just talk about the pitching and the defense keeping this game under control compared to last week when it when it got away from you? Uh, it came out of strikes, I feel like, through this game. We just had to compete in the zone early. And as we saw, that's what happened. And it set the tempo for the game. And once we started doing that, we just ran away with the game. It was big for Mark, Chaz, Will, and Luke to come in and just fill it up. I mean, that's all we can ask out of them. But it was a lot of fun to play. It's a lot more fun to play than that than walks, I guess. And they know that. You guys are in a position where you, you still can win enough games to host a regional. Do you, do you think that, like when you play these midweek games, and going to Utah, and some of these games, they're all really important in terms of trying to to be a regional host. Every yeah. game's important. We treat every game, or yeah, we treat every game the same. I mean, we kind of got away from that last week against, or a couple weeks ago. I forget who we played, but it was flat. But uh, I think ever since that loss, we've been just treating every game the same, just staying locked in and getting, playing it game by game and getting wins. Yeah. Does it feel like this team kind of weathered the storm, kind of came out stronger for it? Is that what you guys feel? Mm -hmm. Can you describe what that, how the guys helped you guys? Yeah, I mean, this past weekend against OSU, we played pretty sound baseball. Not a lot of errors or walks. It was just time, we didn't get the timely hits. and we were, we were that close, and I feel like we knew that. We were right there with that team, and everyone in our clubhouse right now knows that. And uh, we're just going to keep rolling with them. Just stay, Eric, stay the same. Eric, with, with RJ's injury right now, um, would you, like, do you want the chance to try to start on Sundays here for a little while, if possible, or is that? Uh, honestly, I have. I really don't care. Uh, Sam Romero threw great against Oregon State, and why change if it ain't broken? So, I think he should go out there and keep doing it because he's a great pitcher, and we know what we'll get out of him. And maybe save me for a, a long relief if you need me or a close, whatever it might be. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.